Clearly we made it to the Silly Isles. Yeah. It's right on your doorstep. No passport required. Of course we've got a perfectly good boat, but my daughter would like to camp on the beach this evening, so that's what we're going to do. And what a beautiful beach. Look at it. Oh. Trago Mills, 20 quid. Can't go wrong, can you? Stainless steel. Stainless steel barrel barbecue. We've got some sausages from the local shop earlier on. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure whether the vibe is any different here this year than it was last year because of the whole Covid thing. Um, the, the Sillies, they're, they're nice people, you know, but they're not particularly outgoing with you. Although, there was one old chap that sort of said hello and said what's on, you know. Yeah, very nice. All right. So we had a blistering trip here, uh, and regularly I saw seven and a half knots, the dinghy's off, <laughs> saw seven and a half knots on the log, which is very fast, it's a 28 foot boat, you know. Yeah, let's just pull that up a bit, nearly high tide. Yeah. Yep, 28 foot boat, very fast trip. Uh, blissful actually, not running the engine, just sitting there being carried to the Sillies, just beautiful, beautiful trip. And um, had a glass of wine with a friend, Peter, uh, of Twister Association fame last night, which was just lovely. Right, I'll try and keep you updated. No internet signal here in St Martin's Bay here. Uh, the wine cove it is actually. No internet signal here, and my laptop is flat. I'm trying to find a workaround. I hope I can get this uploaded before I get home in two weeks' time. We'll see. Have a great day. Good morning. Today I'm making pancakes for my homesick daughter. They won't be the same as Daddy's homemade pancakes because they're from a packet. But hopefully they won't be too far off. We've moved, uh, we've moved Anchorage now from St Martin's Bay to New Grimsby Sound. Uh, the approach to which was surprisingly easy. It's like everything at the Silly Isles. As soon as you put in enough planning, it works out all right. And this morning. We wake up to Hangman's Island there. And uh, Cromwell's Castle there. And the ruins of King Charles the Whatever's Castle above it. And the Atlantic Ocean. Had a very comfortable night here last night. Very comfortable. Got to here and discovered that because of the COVID-19 thing, the shops are closing at four here. So we missed the shops, couldn't get any food. Had to go to the New Inn for dinner. Had fish and chips there. Uh, they also sell tobacco for those that are interested. Um, so that was a bit of a lifesaver one way or another. I had to break out the emergency milk, which only I will drink, Karina won't have it, but anyway. Um, there it is. Yes, Karina? Go on, say something. Um, I'm not a baby. And this this level of energy, this is you all day, isn't it? Really, just gets more and more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Half past seven in the morning. Oh. Well, I wish I could have filmed that. It's five forty-eight now. At about five twenty this morning. I was awakened with a thud and a shudder and the sound of uh, boat engines and I thought, what is going on? And uh, I leapt out of bed and some idiot in a, you know, I'd call it a mega yacht, it's not a mega yacht, probably 45 foot expensive boat, who was anchored way over there last night which is downwind of me, 
was right up alongside with his engines running and oh, 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 trouncing around on a deck with his three crew. And somehow they'd managed to pull their anchor up over here, over there, and wrap it around my anchor and pull the whole lot up. And of course we pendulumed and swung together, I assume. He wasn't very forthcoming. God, what a way to wake up that is. Anyway, all he succeeded in doing was dragging my anchor about 30 feet and setting it nicely. Um, Jesus Christ. And of course, they don't get that much money by doing the right thing all the time, do they? So he's just going, oh, let me know if there's any damage. He hasn't given me his yacht name or anything. He's just swum off, gone off to Rostock or something. Dickhead. Um, so that wasn't very nice, but I think we're okay. <clears throat> so we're still roughly, roughly adjacent to Hangman's Island. So we're in, on the same line this way. But he was over there, you know. So he must have motored into me. And my anchor, let me just see where it's pointing. Sorry about the wind. I mean, you can see where it's pointing. My anchor's about 120 feet in that direction. How on earth? How on earth? He managed? I mean, if I had his boat, I wouldn't take it that up, up that close to do anything, really. Somehow. <laughs> Somehow he did it. Now, the one I was worried about was swinging into that one, but actually that's been initial thought was, because we have moved, my initial thought was to pull the anchor up and reset it somewhere else, but it's, it's set. Ain't going anywhere. So I might, if the weather abates later on today, I might reset it. Otherwise, I'll just leave it where it is. That was horrible. Honestly, some people could at least do his day skipper, he's gonna run a boat like that. morning now, kind of. Quick run ashore then in the dinghy. There's Rocketta. Hangman Island. Just staying in the lee of that island to stay out of the wind. It's quite windy today. 